Hello, all of you beautiful humans. Welcome, 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 welcome to Menopause and Madness. I am your host, April Rain, and welcome to my midlife crisis. How are we all doing this wonderful Monday? Do you all got the Monday blues or you happy that Monday is over in your part of the woods? It's later afternoon here and um, it has warmed up. I, I am telling you, I am so grateful for it to be 50 degrees, right? You know, I mean, we were down. I know it is a lot colder in other parts of our country and the world. I couldn't handle that, you know, one degree and then below zero. I mean, I would, I would, but we were down to 17, 16 here, which is not, well, I guess it's the new normal now for um, Washington, where I live, which, you know, I was born and raised here and yeah, we had our little cold snaps, but the weather has changed so much here. It is insane. And I, I'm sure, you know, a lot of people in your neck of the woods, the weather is odd also. I kept hearing a lot of people talking about, you know, where's the snow? Where's the snow? We usually have snow by now you know, and I was, you know, hearing all this stuff is just so surreal. It really is. So how is everyone doing? How are you all feeling? Uh, yeah, let's try that again, because I think it's needed. It's a Monday, right? So let's take a second to clear our minds, take a deep breath, a deep breath, Hold it for a couple seconds and exhale. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All that negativity and ugliness from the rest of the world. And let's be in our little happiness bubble, shall we? Um, I'm trying to, okay, maybe that's a little better. I'm feeling like I'm real low down here. Um, today I have just some my little uh, tree of life earrings. Very, very pretty. But since my hair is down, you can't really see them too much. I just wanted to have little sparkles of silver. Um, of course, my favorite right now ring. And uh, my other, it is a sun and a moon. It's Timu. Of course, my Timu bracelet that I just love right now i do i love it my little kitty kitty my little kitty baby um my other timu ring and i do i love this ring it's so pretty so pretty rose gold and silver and little little sparklies little sparklies and i am wearing my taters potatoes boil them mash them stick them in a stew Lord of the Rings, if you didn't, weren't aware of that's where that's from. And uh, yeah, that's one of Lonnie's very favorite books and movies. Trying to get this thin hair to... Now, I know you all say it looks really thick and it looks great, but my hair used to be so thick that I could have like four braids and they would be like that big around, you know. Now, if I have two they're literally probably about that big around and normally um after i take a shower and i put my leave-in curl conditioner in i braid my hair and my one braid is only about that big and it's very sad it's very sad i mean my hair it it's because of the curls that it looks as thick as it does which i'm so grateful right optical illusions it's wonderful on camera, I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, angles and lighting and, you know, and I'm still working on the lighting. As you see, I still have my cards up, the Christmas cards that you all beautiful people sent me. <sighs> I don't even know. I don't want to take it down. A couple times I almost, because Sunday is usually a, like a cleaning 
hanging out day for me and Lonnie, you know, and I had so much laundry I needed to get caught up on and everything. There was just no way I was going to be able to get a couple videos in yesterday. So I'm just going to be doing one every day this week. And um, I'm really trying to get the herbal video uh, videos in because there's so many different things I want to talk about. But honestly, it scares me. There are Bodhi, you hear Bodhi, he, the cameras came on, came out, came on, and he just started losing his mind, right? His ever loving mind. So I've been trying to keep him calm, trying to keep him chewing on his toys and maybe a little treat CC. And, um, anyways, I, um, where was I? Where was I? See, I, squirrel. Oh, what's that? You know, I'm so terrible about it. Oh, with the herbal videos, okay, there is so much that we cannot say. And I know there are other herbalists that, you know, do all kinds of things, but, you know, a lot of them are really great at their YouTube presence. They're really great. And I'm still working on it, you know, but I get nervous because there's so many things we cannot say, so many words we cannot say, we cannot use you know, so it's really hard for me without looking like, you know, super moron, you know, and then I don't know what I'm talking about when I actually really do, you know, if that's one thing I do know talking about plants and herbs and, and that sort of thing. But there is so much that you can't talk about. And it scares me. I don't want to get like, I don't want my channel taking down that thought just scares me deep into my soul. And I know that's probably not healthy, but this, this situation has helped me so much mentally. It really has. I mean, you are all so amazing and supportive and caring and loving, and it's just changed so much about me. And I'm, you know, looking forward to continuing and, you know, bringing bigger and better content and, you know, interesting wonderful fun things and i know that herbs is a lot of that because that is my passion herbs is my true passion um i'm not i'm not like a lot of herbalists you know um in a lot of ways for me it is you know being in the kitchen being around all my herbs and creating formulating you know um that kind of thing is like my ultimate favorite thing to be doing, you know, and sitting down with people and doing what others will call consultations. That's what they are. I call them chats because you've got to really kind of get to know someone, you know, what doctors used to do, you know, um, now they don't have time to do it. Their, their, their workload is just insane. And it really is insane. Um, and a lot of you might already know that. So the, the patient, the client, that's another thing is, you know, I don't have patients. I have clients. I am not a doctor. I'm not a PhD. Um, I do have certifications in different herbalism skills, um, that show that I have gone through this program or that program and, you know, accomplished it and that kind of thing. But that really doesn't stand up. To be part of the American Herbalist Guild is my ultimate goal. And then you have a little bit more clout, you know what I mean? But I'm not, you know, I don't know. It's just, it's I'm my own person and I'm, I'm scared. You know, I'm, I'm not scared so much as just nervous. I don't wanna do or say the wrong thing. So I'm really trying to figure out how to go about because there are some herbalists on youtube that they do say the wrong things and i it you know i get nervous for them like oh don't say that you know you can get in trouble for that you know if it we are like ultimate rebels you know herbalism is it's so extensive in the explanation but the short version is it's against the law and there's so many variables to that and so many, 
you know, different things about that. So it's not just like, oh my God, you know, April is doing this really illegal thing. And, you know, it's not like that. But if you say the wrong thing, you know, or you just, and I don't want to tarnish my reputation. I have been doing this for 13 years and I do have clientele that I just adore and love and, you know, and the simple, for the simplest of things, you know, the balms, the loose teas that I make, I, the candles that I make, um, you know, and they're very loyal and I want to be able to be there for them for as long as they want me there with them. You know what I mean? So that, that's why the herbal thing really kind of gets me a little bit because I don't want to say or do the wrong thing. Right. Right. So, okay. Anyways, today I do have a Timu haul. It is a bit of, I'm, I'm thinking it's like maybe uh, beauty products and I had purchased things to help contain my necklaces and, and, you know, um, bracelets and things like that, that will hang on the wall. So we got some stuff like that. Um, so it's just kind of a mixture of that kind of thing. So I have this bag just packed, packed, packed full of cool stuff. Cause you know, April rain always has the cool stuff. And, uh, well, maybe I think so. So, you know, I mean, I guess that's subjective, right? So, um, I guess I should get started enough with the chit chat let's see okay this first item was kind of funny it was a dollar 28 and when i priced this it was still a dollar 28 you see just looks like a black piece of foam which honestly that's what it is so and i this is my fault my fault because i wasn't paying attention i just wanted a ring holder something to contain my rings because I'm not uh, slowing down anytime soon with my ring purchases. I love jewelry. I love Timu jewelry. So that's what this is, if you see. And there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 36 little slots for rings, but it is just a piece of foam. I honestly thought for some reason it was a type of box, but this works for now. It works for now until I can actually get, maybe I can find a, a plastic, you know, container and I can put this in it. But for $1.28, you know, it, it, it works. It's really velvety up here. In the back, you see, it's just the foam, spongy foam. But it is soft and pretty and like suede like, you know, very cool. Okay, well, I wouldn't say very cool, but if y'all saw, well, my rings aren't like all over. They're really not. I have them in, actually, I have two of these and I hauled these a while back and it, it it's loaded <laughs> it's loaded also i have been wanting to show people have asked me what i let's see if i can do this a little bit i feel like i'm just too far okay um people have asked me what i use for glue for my nails now i'm still wearing these same nails and they are on my last nerve i don't like them anymore <laughs> One thing about the coffin nails is that if you look at them, they're rounded. They round off after so long of wearing them. And it's like, dude, if I would have wanted like the almond shape, I would have purchased the almond shape. So I also do this a lot. It's a, a type of stimming. I also do this a lot where I will put my nails under the other nails and just kind of, it's just a form of stemming that I do because of my issues. So this is the glue. This is the glue. These little pink bottles that is like the cheapest glue on Timu. I bought a pack of 10 of them for less than a dollar. Yes, less than a dollar on a lightning deal. And it just says nail glue on the bottle. 
but it, you know, they're the little tiny, they're so super tiny, but I still have, I think I've only gone through three tubes, three tubes in the last like four months. So yeah, I mean, they, I, what I do is of course you rough up your nail after you prepare your nails, I rough up the nail and then I take the tip and I rough up the back of the tip, the, that's going to be connecting with my nail bed. I rough that up a little bit too. And then I put the glue on the tip and I kind of make sure it's in the area of where my whole nail bed will be. If y'all see smoke going by me, that's just my incense. Um, and then I put them on and I believe that roughing up the inside of the tip and then roughing up my own nail really helps uh, that to adhere and stay because I'm telling you, I have my hands in hot water all the time, cleaning solutions, um, you know, all that kind of normal stuff that one might have their hands in, you know, and um, I, you know, like I said, when I do lose a nail, it's usually because I jam it because I'm not paying attention. And today I jammed this pinky. And if you see the pinky is square. So see, they, they round off and I don't like that. I'm not a big fan of that, that look because it makes them a little shorter. And one of the reasons I love nails is because they help to lengthen my fingers. I don't have short fingers, but I, you know, I have long sausages, right? <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is the glue and it's super inexpensive and in, 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 super inexpensive and uh, i just wanted to show you all that so you all could see what kind of glue i'm using okay now for i have been on this little bit of a journey if i just watched yesterday just jen she did a um a lash perming video that was so great it was so great she just looked adorable and her little pink. She just, she was adorable. I love her. She's so great. If you have not checked her out yet, please go check her out because she's just a cool chick. And, um, she, she does, she, she also did, uh, like skincare, uh, you know, beauty type stuff. She has really great tips and see, I didn't have like a woman figure in my life to teach me how to do all this kind of stuff. I mean, I did my grandma, but my grandma was always never leave the lip, never leave the house without a lipstick on. And she was a oil of Olay. So that was her skin regimen. And she had the most velvety, soft, wonderful, beautiful skin. And I think, you know, some of it was that she was, she was Basque and, um, she just had this gorgeous, I, I used to always love rubbing my cheeks on her cheeks you know, because they were just that velvety soft. And that was always her deal. I never, besides in pictures, I never saw my grandma wear eye makeup or anything else. She just always wore lipstick, a red lipstick. My grandma had, before she went to salt and pepper hair, she had pitch black hair. And um, uh, she was just great. I just miss her. So I am actually trying to start taking better care of my hair. I mean, as far as any kind of regimen, I've only done like bentonite clay mask like once every two weeks, you know, besides like a, a nice scrub. Like I said, I used to use that Avon clear skin. I loved it. I loved it. I would still use it today if it was still the same formula as it was back in the day. I loved it. But with going through perimenopause and all that, my hormones are changing so much. My skin is changing. I'm actually broke out all around right here, which is where I do. It's normal for me to break out around this area, especially that time of month. But I am actually going on my second month without a cycle. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not having the cycle, but I'm having all of the everything else. So, you know, it's like the anxiety sitting there waiting for it so that you can make sure you catch it, you know, and you're not, you know, and, um, so yeah, but I guess I'll get into that in another video, but my face is just horrible. And I honestly, when I went through puberty, I, I never 
had a lot of acne problems. Um, I just always had kind of really good skin, you know, it would get dried out, you know, it was just, it was better than what it is now. So anyways, getting back, I'm trying to do some things for my hair because my hair, so much of it has fallen out and it continues to fall out and um, I need to strengthen it up. And if I can, maybe have some of it grow back. So for $1.87, and it's now $1.25. Let's see. It's always so hard to find out where they connect these things. And this is a little funny because it's little. But this is the Rosemary Mint Hair Mask. Rosemary Mint Hair Mask. And it is a little itty bitty, but that's fine because I just want to try it out. And, you know, if, if it works, I can, you know, rosemary is really great for the scalp and the, the hair follicles and, and that kind of thing. So, and so is mint. Mint is a stimulation type herb. Um, so I'm really hoping this works out. Let's see if I can see let me put my eyes on to see if i can see what the ingredients are besides rosemary and mint and it just says a herbal strong root butter i can't i can't i can't i mean here can you guys read that Plus, as you see, look at I'm fogging up. I am, uh, yeah. It's 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 that, and I have my fan on. I have my window open, and yeah. So, I really hope this works. I will let you know. I'm gonna start doing the like empties. I know people like to see those the empties, and I have a few things that I really would like to uh, review because they are super awesome but you can't really do say that much about it when you first purchase it because you don't know much about it right okay let's get these out of the way because they are my last nerve these were 404 and i got these for lonnie because he has issues um well not issues he's just getting older and he works on he's on his feet on concrete you know eight to twelve hours a day so I saw these, these were 404. I wanted to get something a little more, um, I would figure, you know, higher quality if I spent a little more. And it is these insoles. Now they, they've got this gel and these little bead things on the bottom and they actually, you have your heel and a little more support for this area right here. Now Lonnie wears, um, he wears Doc Martens for work. And that is because Lonnie is incredibly hard on his boots, you know? And so, and it was, it's not even the 1460 Doc Martens. He, he tore through those in one year. Now, if you know about Doc Martin's 1460, those should be lasting you a lifetime almost, right? No, not my Lonnie. Not my Lonnie. Excuse me. I have got a bit of a runny nose. And I needed to catch it. So, okay. These, I, these, these feel wonderful. My hair is just everywhere. These feel wonderful. And I really hope that they help them you can it on the package it does show you okay well it's not the package but this is what the package looks like so i am hoping that they do for him you know and help because he has really bad knees um from all of his years um setting tile and um now still he's he's walking on concrete you know like i said for a long time so i hope these help and i will let you all know how 
he's doing with this with these now i have been he has not yet used his knee massager and heating thing and i have been nagging him and nagging him and he he's not the type when he gets home he doesn't change out of his work clothes and all of that he doesn't like taking his boots off and to, it, it is i don't even know how to explain it without it sounding like really weird but he's always got to have his boots on okay and even when i purchase other shoes for him he keeps his boots on and it's all up until he goes to get into bed he is stays fully dressed he keeps his boots on i mean if he has you know gotten wet feet or if sweated like way too much he will change his socks and clean his feet and put his boots back on it's so crazy but um i'm trying to help him with that okay i thought these were super cute super cute they were only 98 cents and now 84. now when i say it's now this price it could be wrong because they could you know the item could have gone on a lightning deal or something like that it could be even less but these are hair clips look at that and they do have a plastic uh coating over them but i thought they were so cute yeah i shouldn't be trying to do that like that <laughs> I thought they were so cute because, you know, I'm just edgy, right? <laughs> I'm not really, but I just thought they were really cool because razor blades. Do you know that if you say, okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out, okay, I love speaking in accents and I'm not very good at it. I mean, certain things I am when it comes to like British accents, I can say some phrases and it's kind of funny but i can't remember where i heard about this australian and i know i've got some folks in australia okay so please don't clown on me too hard now it's either you say rise up lights or you're saying rise up lights but that's how you would sound in australian if you were to be saying razor blades so it would be rise up lights <laughs> it's just a silly but i and i cannot remember where i heard it i think lonnie and i might have heard it on, on some stand-up comedy or something but now you know we'll catch each other off guard sometimes and say that and it's just hilarious it makes us laugh anything to make us laugh right so yeah if you say rise up lights fast then you're saying rise up lights so like razor blades in australian accent it's crazy it's funny i don't know okay this was only 53 cents and this was is still 53 from the last time i checked let me get my rise up lights <laughs> i don't even know i'm just feeling silly okay now you all see this ring that i wear lonnie bought me this ring oh years ago and um i wanted to get him one similar because he likes it and he's into all the jewelry now so i picked him up this spinner ring it does spin in the middle the it's kind of tight okay it's kind of tight he's gonna have to spin that on his finger but the chain does spin and so for 53 cents you know i mean one reason i love this jewelry is the price okay now these are 2.98 and they are sold out they are frequently sold out and uh i got i had purchased a pair uh a little while back a few hauls back and they were broken and i was so bummed because i had to wait you know for them to be not sold out and then they come to me and they're broken and i was super bummed 
because they are so pretty and so like different. This is what they look like. Look at those. I mean, it's like a pearl, mother of pearl look. And I just thought these were so pretty. They're just a flower that reminds me kind of like, honestly, I don't know. And they, this middle part was totally, was gone. And the, it was just broken and horrible. And so they are like acrylic. They do come with, as you see on the back, Oh, I'm so scared that I'll break them. You see, if you can see on the back, they have the wide circle and then uh, the rubber backing. So, and you do get, um, oh, what am I looking here? You do get extra rubber backing. Sorry, it's so hard to see when it's clear white. Just a little bitty. So I want to put this one in because I've been so excited to see how they would look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yes, they are big, but they are like, you know, a statement earring. And I do agree that they are a little more summer. But y'all know spring is coming. Spring is coming fast. And I'm excited. I'm excited because spring is my time. It is my time to shine. I mean, and uh, y'all just get to see. I, I just, I stay so busy and I just, I love it. It's so hard to explain. But look at these. Aren't these just adorable? They're not adorable. These are hot. I like these. I like them a lot. Very pretty, very island looking. Now they are a little heavy, not a lot, not a lot, but they are a little heavy. So if you're sensitive to the heavier earrings, but oh, those are just great. Look at that. I love those. Oh. I'm so excited that I finally got these and they're not broken. But I feel like I need to be so super careful with them. Okay, now for, I got this 57 cents. It's now $1.29. And it is one of the, I actually got two of these because I get, I get one for Lonnie. Because he loves to wear all the pheromone, you know, sm yummy smelling stuff. And I've, he, I, the way I got him to start wearing, uh, well, he's always worn like cologne, but he, and one of his colognes that he's worn for like, since I can remember is English leather. And that is one that my daddy used to wear. And it just, you know, uh, and I love it. I do love it. It just, it's that, you know, when you smell something that just instantly takes you right there, it's wonderful. But it's one of the refillable. And honestly, you, you don't want to, you have your little spray where you can spray and you've got a window where you can see how much is in there. Um, but you don't you know, when it's done, you can't really clean it out so that, you know, I mean, no, it doesn't, it just keeps turning and you don't kind of want to mix scents. So I got a couple more of these because 52 cents, you know, because 52 cents, let me put my pretty little tree of life it's got a crystal, like a crystal that goes around in the back that's multicolored, purple and blue. And it's just really pretty dainty little earrings. 
you know, for that little pop of sparkle and oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, now getting a little bit more into the Okay, yeah, so there is uh, some jewelry up in here. Now, as I have said in other uh, hauls, this was $1.79. I have been really getting, like, Erin uh, from Hey Everybody. Let's see, Just Jen. Just Jen, I think, was the first one I saw. She'd had a little bee brooch, and I thought it, I thought it was adorable. I thought it was adorable. And then... Uh, Erin, hey everybody, she started hauling these really great colorful pins, brooches. And uh, yeah, so I grabbed myself one of these dragons. And it is just awesome. It is just awesome. Look at the detail and the color. This is like... I don't, I don't even know, but it's really, really gorgeous. And these do come in different colors, different colored gems. You see the gems on the back. And I just, the detail in this, the other side looks like this. A nice wide pin. But look at that color. Look at that. And with the sweaters that I've been purchasing, these are just going to be gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love it. You know, and of course the whole dragon thing, because, you know, yes, I love dragons and that kind of stuff too. Very much so. I think it's very pretty. Let me know what you all think about my purple dragon. And what your favorite item is. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay. Huh. Like, what is this? It's so tiny. This was 63 cents. And I, I had a, a while back, I hauled a, uh, a Pandora like bracelet from Timu. And I wanted to start putting some different charms on it myself. Now this one is a moon with little blue stars, with little gems, little rhinestones. Look at that sparkle. And you know what I say it was? 63 cents. 63 cents for this pretty little charm. I, I was, yeah. So I can't wait to start putting it together. I've actually, oh, taking a little step back to Saturday's haul, uh, my survival. Um, I am so stoked that you guys like that. And I can't wait. I'm go, I'm already got more themed hauls planned and they're going to be great. Not every single haul is going to be a, um, a themed, you know, full on dress up, that type of thing. But I have got some great things coming, but this fell out of the bag and I want to tell you about it. It was $1.79 and is now $1.98. And what it is, cause it's like super cool. What it is, is a pulley system. And this right here is supposed to be able to hold up to 500 pounds of weight. Now, if it's, it's steel, you can tell it's steel. And it is heavy duty. You know, this has some give that's not like broken. It's supposed to be like that. But this was part of the survival hub in case... This would be great for when you have to pick something heavy up and you are alone and you can't do it. You can do your own pulley system. And they had different sizes of these, um, like four or five different sizes. 
but I just wanted to show you guys this because it, it is, you know, to me, and it's an, it's an essential part and you see it can hang off any of the other little clippy hang, hang things that I got for his bag. And, uh, it's just tiny, so it'll fit almost anywhere. And that way with all that cordage you got, if you need to move, say, a, a tree branch or something like that, something in the effect of that, or you're building something, a shelter. That's great for that. Okay, back to this haul. This was 79 cents. 79 cents. And it is just adorable. I love this because where I live in the Pacific Northwest, we get a lot of rain. And I myself love the rain. I've can, you know, if it's gray and, you know, raining outside, I'll go take a walk. I mean, yes, I love the sun too, but I love the rain. I'm not the type of person that gets, you know, you know, if I am having a depressed day, a sad type of day and it's raining, that's what I want to see when I'm feeling that way. That gives me comfort. So I found this little cloud with raindrops charm. How cute is that? And it's got little rainstones around the part that will hook up to the bracelet. But how cute is that? I love that. And I love how they sparkle. But it's so, it's so me. It's so me. And that's what those bracelets are about, right? It's about your personality and who you are. I'm guessing anyways, that's what I, that's what I think, but it was only 79 cents, 79 cents. And the other one was 63 cents. So for charms, I mean, how much are Pandora charms, right? Okay. Now here I have the red, uh, and this was 58 cents. They didn't have black or blue, so I picked out a red one for Lonnie. They just go in his lunchbox anyway, so he's not, he's not, you know, he doesn't trip about certain colors or if, you know, he doesn't trip. I could have got him a pink one and he still would have used it, right? Yeah. Okay, these were 98 cents. Now, when I picked these out, I wasn't aware that they were like the same earrings that I had purchased just a different color and you know the color got me y'all know the color got me but it is the wooden earrings and yellow and they are just you know they're just me I just I love yellow it's so bright and I don't know what it is I love, I love yellow. I love yellow and purple. Yellow and purple are like, and if you see, I have yellow, yellow uh, pillow covers and purple pillows. And in my bathroom is yellow and purple. I have purple rugs and, you know, all that. And then yellow. I do like to change kind of often change my stuff up, but I do love how yellow and purple look together. It's just, it's, cool I like it okay now this is a little different and I do love it it was 378 which the price is oh oh so nice right and it is cute and it is something that will have to go into storage because even though we have a huge huge yard here with lots of trees and stuff you know, um, our housemate really isn't hip to a lot of, he's, he's a minimalist to the max. He's a, a minimalist to the max. He's an amazing human and he's an amazing human, but he is the poster child for minimalism. And, you know, that's part of who he is. And we love that about him. 
so um we're not going to interfere with the things that he likes you know we'll just hold off until we are in our own home but here i have a metal metal gecko look at him isn't he just adorable look he's like how you doing how you doing <laughs> But he's cute and colorful, and there there is a set of four of them. And I just thought he would be really cute, like uh, climbing up a tree or, you know, something like that. I know a lot of people will put him, like, on the side of their home and that, but I just, I want to see him climbing up a tree. That's how I want to see this guy. So, yeah, I mean, great price. He does on the back. He has a little the little hook if you can see that little hook right there so that he can be hung up but um if we were to hang him to a tree lonnie would he does different things for the way he hangs things up so they stay secure without harming you know a lot i mean trees are pretty resilient when it comes to their bark most trees most trees here in the pacific northwest like if you're thinking of a pine or cedar or something like that but we, I just thought he was adorable. And for $3.78, $3.78. I mean, the one of the main things about buying, purchasing things like this from Timu is that if you were to go to Amazon or any of the other online marketplaces, you are literally going to be spending two to three, sometimes four times more. And I just, you know, I can't do that. And I know a lot of you out there can't do that, right? I mean, we got to save money, but we still want to have nice things. We still want to have good skincare. We still want to have pretty makeup. We still want to have nice clothes, you know? And there's a lot of us out there that can't afford to even purchase from Amazon. And, you know, as sad as that is, it's reality. So here we have Timu and it, it provides us a way to be able to to do that to do that you know y'all feel me i'm sure y'all feel me okay here i have a gorgeous gorgeous ring and it's 224 and as when i priced this it was still 224 and it is gorgeous it is gorgeous the one thing i do have to say is it is not to true to size now my ring finger is a nine and it's a nine because i squish it over my fat part and get it to where it's down here where this is a nine i am by a 10 and it, i get it down there it just goes right over but then it wants to come off so i mean that's what you got to do sometimes and i'm okay with that but this ring i thought was so gorgeous look at that now it's just the rhinestones and little daisy type uh cherry blossom type flowers it's silvery with the like rhinestones just white rhinestones so glittery so pretty i just i love it i love it i love this ring so so much let me take this one off Let me squish it over my fat part. Look at that. Another thing is that from day to day, I, me, like a lot of other women, will retain water. I can eat one thing, one tiny little bite of something that has too much sodium in it, and I'm swollen. And I drink a lot, a lot of water to help me with that. But, oh. Look at that ring, y'all. 224. And it was sold out and I had to wait for it. But it came back. And uh where can I put this ring? In my pocket. Because I want to keep this one on because it is just so pretty. And I do have rings where I will literally have to put lotion on to get them over that this it's like this right here and it's fat it's my fat fingers but even when i lose weight this 
it stays. It's weird. It's so weird. Um, but that is a gorgeous ring, y'all. Gorgeous. Oh, so much, so much stuff. Okay, now I did get more containers because it is all about organization, organizing this jewelry, organizing these charms, organizing my nails. That's what I forgot to bring over. I have one of these. This one was 59 cents. And that's when I purchased these. It's now 218, or it was when I uh, priced this. And this is a 24. It's a 24. Uh, it does have where you can hang it up. I do love that. I don't really use it though. And then you have your your clamps to keep it closed. Now these don't move. These don't move. They are in there. But I have like my gosh for the longest time i have a nail bag it's not real big it's just like a small crossbody corduroy bag from timu and i had all the little boxes of nails in there taking up so much room i had like 20 boxes so i purchased one of these and i put all the nails in each in their own little place and i love it i love it it is so convenient it's convenient if one you know breaks off it's convenient to be able to see what i've got going on and i love it and for 53 cents and, and you can get them even cheaper these containers they just there's a million uses for them and i love them i love them now this one is super cute because it's so tiny um it was 396 and when i had looked at it, it was 357 and since we have changed to uh rechargeable batteries which so far we are really digging that we're really digging them the i it was a few hauls back when i had purchased double a's and triple a's and the chargers the puji max chargers for the batteries and no problems no problems they work so well so i went let's see how does this open oh you got little clamps this is a battery storage and it's got for all different sizes of batteries even the little the little ones which i actually need to find someone i know laura from favorites with laura purchased all kinds of little round batteries she hauled a whole bunch of those and so laura how do those work let me know um i want to know how all of those batteries you know they do so that way, you know, because I forever, not forever, but I went and bought um, batteries, we'll buy them from the Dollar Tree. And this was a while back because I quit buying them from the Dollar Tree because there would be times that the batteries wouldn't even work. They wouldn't, they were dead. And I just got frustrated with that because there, at one point, like the first time we bought like a whole bunch, you know, like a lot because we were like, dang, this is going to save us some money. But this will hold your your all your different sizes. Now we don't have a huge amount of batteries right now, and when they're in the the charger, you know. But we do have a few. So this was the perfect size I thought that we could need right now. I did look at some of the bigger ones. We don't need all of that, so this works for us. And for three seventy eight, I thought it was a great price. It is really really sturdy plastic. I mean it's it's not thin and flimsy up in here very nice okay i'm looking to see okay these were 67 cents and are now a dollar 77 now i've heard so many people say these are amazing they work great I am kind of a clean freak. I love my cleaning surprise supplies, surprise, my cleaning supplies. And I thought this was a great deal um, for just, my intentions are for cleaning cloths, 67 cents. And you get five of these and I have been waiting to feel these and they do feel wonderful. So as you see, they're this big and you have your blue, your pink, two of each, and then one green. And these are perfect. These are 
perfect. I mean, for 57 cents, you just, you can't beat it. And they're soft. They're so, so soft. So there's so many things that you could do with these. I mean, that you can clean with these, you know, wipe off dust. This, these type of, oh gosh, it's so soft. It doesn't feel like microfiber at all. It feels like the plushies, you know, when you purchase plushies from Timu, that's what it feels like. That's, and uh, yeah, that's what it feels like. So super, super soft. And uh, for 57 cents, you better believe it. You better believe it. 67 cents. I'm sorry. I do believe, though, that they have gone down in price. Now, when I... When I priced these, they looked like they had gone, they were back up to $1.77. But I did see them last night or the night before, and they were $0.53, cents, I think. So these are a really good deal. They are a very good deal. I mean, if you don't like the size, then, you know, I can totally understand. But they are very thick, they're very soft, and they will get some bangs clean. They even feel like they'd be really great for glasses, like for glasses on your face. And also if you have crystal type glassware, it might be really great for, so that you don't scratch it. You know, if you need to polish them up, you know, after you wash them and they're dry and you polish them up, it might be really good for that. Okay. Now I had mentioned that I had purchased this. This was $1.48 and it's now $1.29. And this is the the black ring because I think it's it's so much easier to see than the wooden one. I do love the wooden one. And what I thought was so cool and didn't even notice until after I got it is it's a heart. It's shaped like a heart. So you have let me take this off. Three different posts. Yeah, I think that's a little bit easier to to see. I think it's a lot bit easier to see. And yesterday we just ran out of time when it, you know, when we wanted to spend some time uh with the camera, with the new camera. Lonnie will be the one to read the instruction manual and then I will take the camera and actually just start doing stuff. Last time I did that, I recorded a little bit, but I cannot figure out how to play it back. It was very frustrating. So, I mean, I cannot express the crazy rage that comes out of me when I can't figure this stuff up. I get so out. I, f I get so frustrated, you know, and I don't like that I get that way. But it's like, you know, I'm... <sighs> I'm not a moron, you know what I'm saying? I mean, but when it comes to electronics and technology, yes. And for me to learn, I actually need someone who knows what they're doing right by my side, you know, or whatever, you know, years of the internet, now they can be on Zoom or whatever, but right there kind of walking me through it and, uh, I've tried to do that with the editing. There's so many great YouTubers that are, you know, editing for beginners and they try to take you step by step, but you know, they're, they're not, there's certain things that they're not showing you like what exactly you need to hit. And when I try to clip, uh, to cut something out and I use, I use a mouse, I use my laptop. And when I've tried to do it on my phone with like, I think I have Filmora on there. Um, Sandy from My Nutty Nook, she told me that that was, a, I think it was Sandy. Okay, one of y'all used Filmora and said it was really easy on your phone. But my problem is I have tremors. So when I'm trying to get that, specific, you know, right there in that perfect cut, I can't. I just can't do it. And then when I use my mouse and I, Put the line where it needs to go it i don't understand because i hit 
the scissors because it's like you think it was self-explanatory hit the scissors cut it and then put that closer that's what i try to do and it it doesn't it doesn't work it doesn't work for me and so there i have big dreams with editing you know Gigi from um Gigi's attic and crafts like she is such a cool editor i love how she edits um there was someone else i was watching the other day i mean of course laura she's she's she does some awesome editing there was someone else i was watching and her editing was on point like and i also like to put little funny you know blurbs when i see that i've messed up or i see that an eyelash is falling off i can say something that'll make y'all laugh or just point and be, you know what i mean just stuff like that not too crazy or too cartoony or anything like that but just something to make it help it be a little more interesting you know and i'm really all about that i want to learn that so badly okay so i have here for dollar 28 now these i purchased for my necklaces and it is just these you see it's got the 3m plastic but they're just little hooks and as of right now i've actually had lonnie you know put me a couple nails up so that i can put my necklaces hang them up next to where I have a huge uh, I had hauled it a while back it's an earring holder from Timu and it works great it does but I also have my little mushroom and I also have a, a like a, a closet rod with hangers and I can't wait till someday when we're in our own place where I can set this stuff up on a dresser and it just will look so fabulous but so these are for the wall just so that we don't have to use any more nails. Although Lonnie is really great about, you know, I mean, you can literally just put toothpaste in there and, you know, some of this other stuff that Lonnie knows how to use. And it looks like nothing was ever even there. So they're pretty easy to cover up, but I don't want to continually do that. Okay, now Lonnie has been getting, when I have been purchasing like necklaces for Lonnie this was 99 cents and is now 89 cents for five of them you can get packages of more they are just the uh faux leather type chains as you see they've got extenders on the end and then your your little clips now, see, the, I, I purchased one that I'm speaking of for specifically is a dragon's eye or a tiger's eye, and it's got a cloth. And so I tied it in a multiple knots because it was something he wants to keep on all the time. And um, now that he's been getting other types of necklaces, he wants to take it off. So I got these to make it easier for him to take off and on and they're just really good to have i mean in the price you know and especially too because there's a lot of the chains that i'm not impressed with from timu i'm not a big fan of i like the more sturdy silver rope style chains and you know it's just how it is but then you you really want the pendant that is uh connected to that chain so being able to get these and like i said i got five of them for 79 cents so i thought that was just a great deal and it takes care of that whole problem okay now here for 69 cents and as the time that i priced it is dollar 48 it is another little container now i believe i did get this one for charms i don't have a lot of charms but it has the same type of clasp and i'm telling you i love those clasps because they're so heavy duty you know you know the stuff in here and this is fixed also and it's a 10 10 uh 10 spaces it also has the little thing so that you can hang it up if you want and you know 
I just, I love these. They're, I just, you know, they're awesome. You can put a hundreds of different things, a hundreds, hundreds of different things. Okay. Now this was 53 cents. And when I checked for prices, it was a dollar 25. And this is another way to organize my necklaces. Now I actually, that's interesting. That must be the tape or the sticky that goes on the back like that. Or let's turn it right. And it is just hooks for necklaces. And there are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's 12 all together. Trying to see. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And it's really thick, really thick part right here. They're all really, really sturdy. And then you have your to go on the wall, your sticker, which is, you know, just, I love that. And I just, I was trying to get different types of things to see what would work best on the, uh, on the wall. Because I have heard other people talk about some of these sticky things don't want to stick. You know, you do have to scrub the wall really clean. And, you know, I think maybe using an alcohol pad before you stick that on, dry it off, and then stick it on would really help. I heard that. I can't remember where I heard that, but I heard that. <laughs> okay, now this I'm pretty excited about too. Lonnie loved this too. And he's like, if you don't want these, I'll take them. And I'm like, because he's talking about using them for like his medieval games and stuff like that. This was $2.69. And the last time I checked, it was still $2.69. But uh, he's not getting these. I love this. This is another brooch, and it is a Chinese dragon. Look at that. Look how pretty those colors are, and all of the sparklies. You do have the face right here with his tongue. It's either his tongue or fires. You see his whiskers. He's just very, very pretty nice big pin on the back honestly when i was seeing him i was hoping he was bigger i was ready to have a four or five inch brooch that <laughs> yeah but i thought he was just very pretty very sparkly and also recognizing the lunar new year chinese new year very oh gosh when you come back here and it's just it's so sparkly it's so my camera is not doing it justice y'all it is sparkly the scales look like scales and the scales are not um any kind of stone it's just the way it has been carved or worked or however these are made but it is gorgeous y'all it is gorgeous Okay. Okay. Now this was 28 cents and I just couldn't pass it up. I do love going into the Nordic jewelry, but I haven't really been doing that a lot lately since I went kind of crazy in the past, you know, and I haven't seen a lot of new stuff. So I don't really want to repurchase anything just yet, but for 28 cents, y'all 28 cents, you have it's in two parts because it's not put together, but it's just the, you have the really nice, really nice black chain. It's, it's more towards like a rope chain. Very sturdy, very nice. And then you have the Nordic arrowhead. Nordic arrowhead, Nordic arrowhead, I think is what it is. Now they used to make these back in the seventies and my daddy wore one of these. It wasn't black like this. It was a little different, but I always remember. Yeah, that's got a point on it. Be careful if you wore this to bed or something. I I wouldn't recommend wearing it to bed. You might end up stabbing yourself in the throat or the chest. But it is very 
very nice and i know lonnie will wear it and if he doesn't then giveaway city baby giveaway city baby and yes today we will have a trivia question i'm pretty excited and i have with the exception, and I'm very sorry, Crystal, but with the exception of a trivia prize box that needs to go to Canada, and I wasn't really aware of that, and when I went to put, I put her, the address into my, uh, into, I use pirate ship shipping, and I put the address in there, and when it popped up the fee, I was like, yeah, I can't do this right now. I have to wait until next payday. And no, I, you know, and I'm so sorry. I am very sorry for the wait, but I didn't realize it was going to cost that much. And, um, I wasn't prepared for that. So, you know, I was prepared for something a little less, but, um, Sandy, your order's on its way. And Lucy, your prize box box is on its way also. And then I'm caught up except for Crystal. And like I said, Crystal, I'm very, very sorry. I wish that, you know, if I had known, you know, it, I've said before that we live paycheck to paycheck. So bills come first, no matter what, bills come first, bills come first, you know. And then, you know, oops, sorry. Careful, bud. Careful, my handsome. Yeah, the way he looks at me and turns his head. He's so beautiful. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I hope you can understand. And I promise you will still get your prize box. And um, it's just going to be a little while longer. And with the uh, winner of today's haul, your prize box will be sent out not this Friday, but next Friday. Every two weeks is when I ship, and that's how it has to be. Now, it is a little different for my... Boo! Come on now, bud. Okay, sorry about that, but he is cuddling with the the tripod leg. Um, Now, with my Etsy and my business, that is a little bit different. Um, but when it comes to these... Uh, pro and also giveaway boxes, I I... When I have, like my next big giveaway i do try to get those out as soon as possible when i can afford to ship all at once but when i've got so so many packages to ship um it just gets to be too much you know and please don't come at me with you know well you shouldn't have a business or this or that because y'all got to start somewhere and that's the way it is so please just be cool and bear with me okay i think y'all are pretty fabulous about that as it is and you all have more patience than i do i'm i'm <laughs> you are so sweet but i, I don't want to continue because i still have some things to look at okay now this i'm pretty excited about because i've been wanting one of these for a while it was 3.99 and it is now 2.69 or it was now i did get price adjust i do my price adjustments every day so if you pay something like this, pay $3.99 and it goes on a lightning sale the next day and you go to do your price adjustment, you're still going to get that credit even if the next day it goes back to $3.99. You know, that's why it's so important to check every day. Do your price adjustments every day because things things go um, on lightning deals and it's like an incredible difference. I mean, you all see the, diff the price differences. You all see them. Now, this is the box, and it's called uh, Easy Filter. Very cool. And now, what I'm going to do with this, this is the biggest one they had. So, that also uh, lends to the price. But as you see, it's a pretty big uh, filter. You just open the sides. And it comes open like this. If you can see, it just fits around the lip of the top. And 
in herbalism, you, you make a type of, um, a type of preparation called a, deto a decoction. And with this, I can not have to worry about super straining it, you know, because you lose a lot of product w with straining. I don't have a tincture press. I will someday, but I don't have the $2,000 to get myself one, right? And so I use these types of things. Also, uh, cheesecloth. I have stacks of cheesecloth that I use to strain my oils and my tinctures. But I thought this was really great for decoctions because then you have less uh, plant material to have to strain through. And so you're not losing as much product. And you can, you know, and there's so many different things you can use this for. I mean, soups, you know, if you don't want your bay leaves in, you know, out. I, mean, I cannot tell you growing up how many bay leaves I chewed on. And which is fine, but my mom could have taken them out before she fed us, right? <laughs> you know, but it's, it's for that type of thing. And I am super stoked about having this. I really am. And for three, uh, three ninety nine with the price adjustments, even two sixty nine. I mean, even three ninety nine. It's a really great price for this because I promise, go price it on Amazon and see. And they have different sizes, some different sizes, all from you know smaller, smaller little ones to that is the biggest one. Now I would love to have maybe one twice that size. Um, in the future you never know maybe they'll come up with something like that but it will work for now okay now let's see i've got a few things that i had to get to now this was 79 cents and when i checked it we're almost done y'all when i checked it um it was 98 cents now these are they i love these i i love these they are just the stackable little containers, as you see. And there is four. And I did get two of these because it was a buy. There we go. I had it upside down. Here's the lid. They're not real huge, but as you know, I am. Oh, whoa. Go lay down. Come on. Go lay down. Goodness sake, bud go lay down as you know i am starting to purchase rhinestones and all different kinds of little cute things to start putting on my face and that's what these are for and since it was a minimum of two i did get two but that's what i'm going to be using this for and what did i say for 79 cents you cannot beat that come on go lay down bud Go lay down. Mama's, um, no, go lay down. Mama's almost done. You need to have a drink of coffee. Coffee. Y'all take a sip of what you're drinking. Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. I've been drinking this Folgers Mocha, instant mocha. I'm not usually an instant girl, but with the situation that we are in it's just easier because a while back i did haul a um a folding silicone oh, teapot teapot like thing and so i use that and it has been just awesome just awesome good boy boo okay this next thing i'm pretty excited about 97 cents and there's a couple different things i want to use this for and again, I did get two of them because it was a minimum of two, which is fine because I am going to be using both of them. And what it is, and it does come with its, its little sticker, but it's, it goes on the wall. Your sticker goes here. And look at the glitter. Look at the glitter glitter. And a cute little gem on top. Now, what I'm going to use this for is probably bracelets, but I got two of them. So I would use the, the other one for scrunchies. 
Now, I quit using scrunchies in my hair a while back because I they would always stretch out. And then, you know, scrunchies cost more than just little hair ties. These They're like a nylon elastic hair tie is what I have to use because my hair is still a little heavy and I got to wrap that stuff tight to get it to stay up. You know, <laughs> y'all know what I'm saying. And so I am starting to purchase scrunchies again because I'm learning that if I use my nylon hair tie first and then put the scrunchie over it or that kind of thing. See, I'm telling you level 49 and I'm just barely learning all of this kind of stuff but you know what it's exciting it's exciting to learn it it's exciting to watch these videos I am so excited I'm trying to talk Miss Just Jen into making a series out of that uh like what she did yesterday because man she is so brilliant and I am learning so much you know for a lot of makeup techniques I like to go to Yari G or uh, Bailey Sarian, Nikki's tutorials, you know, a lot of them, like those two especially do have a more of a shape of face like what I have. So, um, you know, I got to kind of learn like that. Um, there's, there's quite a few people that I like to watch. I love to watch the beauty videos, you know. Um, so yeah, that's what this is for. Sorry, I, I get going off like if we were just hanging out just me and you you know hanging out having coffee having a chat you know talking about whatever now I do have a tendency to go off on some pretty crazy things and not that they're crazy but they're really uh deep and things I'm passionate about I know um hillbilly heart on one of her last videos the last couple of days she kind of now, now, people might not always agree with everything that everybody says, and I get that because I can agree to disagree with someone and not hate them, not, you know, and like I said, this will never, ever be a political place. This is a safe place for happiness, but she did bring up a lot of things that is happening to us humans in this country as far as our health and our, you know, our behavior, our mental that you know there's a lot of manipulation going on and me and Lonnie have some pretty we we are really kind of into that we uh there's a channel I really love on um YouTube called Truth Stream Media it's a husband wife team and they really they really do their work you know they do their research they it, it, they are really awesome I also watch things like the Y files I love it one of my favorite podcasts and it's so crazy because he's been a favorite forever and that's the osbournes you know i don't know if you're into that kind of music but you know we're from the time when black sabbath was bad ass music and uh then the osbournes when they did their show on mtv and we were totally into that we just love them as a family and you know sharon's crazy ozzy's crazy kelly she's just beautiful and someday I will have her color of hair. And, uh, you know, so yeah, I mean, there are a lot of different types of things that we'll watch, but we have very strong beliefs about, you know, certain things. Sorry to have rambled off again about that, but, you know, it's just something else to learn about me, right? Let me know in the comments what are some of your non timu or non-shopping favorite uh channels to watch on youtube let me learn a little bit about you you know okay now this was a dollar 34 and it was dollar 37 and i'm not going to take them out of here but what they are are extenders there are three different sizes and a necklace extenders which I definitely need. There are some really fabulous necklaces on Timu and other sites that just aren't, they don't hang where I want them to hang because I do have a, a larger neck, you know. But um, yeah, I, it's just $1.34. And I learned about these from watching Timu hauls. I didn't even know there was any such thing. I'm so behind, I'm telling you, I'm behind. I am like, 
you know, I have mentioned before that I was told by psychiatrists that I was stunted at 17. That's no joke. That's no joke. Um, oh, okay. This was a dollar twenty six. I was so happy to get this because it is so cute. So very cute. I'm telling you, I went like on a on a brooch kick, and I'm still, I am still, and I love it. They really have some pretty ones. Oh, I want to poke myself. Here we have like a little chickadee. Look at how pretty and sparkly this little birdie is. Look at that. It's just gorgeous and it's really small. Now this would have been, I could see using something like this. You know, when you wore a collar shirt and you flipped it up and you, you would iron just the points. And put that there that was totally an 80s thing i guess but you do have your little pin in the back that's what the back looks like and i just thought she was gorgeous she is gorgeous little gems on her feathers right here and rhinestones all the way around and right there she's sitting on a little twig she's just gorgeous I just love her. I love her so much. So sweet. So very sweet. Now I need to get a uh, Bodhi is directly under the tripod. So I'm sorry. I'm I'm almost done. Just a few more items, but I, I he wants to be close to mama. So I'm gonna let him be close to mama. Okay. So I'm sorry if this jiggles a little bit. Okay, so this was two forty eight now a dollar thirty four and what this is is a bracelet holder that actually has a dragon. Let me get it out of this plastic now it is two parts. Wow, this is heavy and nice. Here is the base. Look how thick that is. Look at how clear that is. That's got to be acrylic. And then here is the holder. And if you see, it is a dragon's head, a Chinese dragon's head. For some reason, they call it a faucet. I don't, I don't get that, but... And you put this in here, and there you go. There you have a bracelet holder. And I just thought that was awesome, especially for the price, you know. This is really sturdy, really sturdy and great quality. The whole thing, the whole thing is. I mean, you've even got the fangs from the dragon. Let's see. I want it to be seen. Let's see. I don't have anything dark right here. Let's see, maybe we could do it like that. Maybe that could be seen a little better. Not really. But you get the idea. And what did I say this was? Oh, come on. This was a dollar thirty-four after a price adjustment. A dollar thirty-four for a bracelet holder, and I wanted something different than the typical velvet rolls. You know, I mean, those are cool too, but just kind of wanting something a little different. And I thought this was just great, and it's super sturdy, you guys. It's super, super sturdy. That is just, wow. Now that I've got my fingerprints all over it. Okay, now this was a big mistake. <laughs> this was me not paying attention. These were 58 cents. And what I was trying to get was spacers for the Pandora dupe bracelet from Timu. Um, for in between like the beads and the charms. And this is what I did. <laughs> 
you see how tiny those are yeah that just you know like i said i don't i have you know cloth measures tape measures and stuff like that where i can actually uh measure the width of the bracelet and everything but i don't, I don't, don't do that I'm probably going to start because I need to, obviously. But like I said, these were only 58 cents and they will go at a giveaway or they're all different colors. I don't know if you can really see that. They're all different colors and gems on the sides. And so I was thinking about adding these to like my junk journal supply of stuff. And uh, that'll be a themed haul coming up soon i'm still waiting for all this stuff to get here together not gonna not gonna tell the secrets on some of the other ones a couple i only have a couple other ones that i've i've planning so far but they're gonna be great and they're gonna be fun but yeah so there are colors on there there are colors on the sides and so i don't know i might do something like that or they'll go, because there's pink and green and red and blue. All different kinds of pretty colors. And, uh, or it'll go like in, you know, giveaway. Giveaway. Okay, so like I said, just a few more. Okay, this, I, I you might have seen everybody haul this. I need to try it out because I'm always trying different things out for dog hair. This was $0.98, cents, and then when I priced it, it was $0.84. Cents. And the reviews I've seen on on from YouTubers have been really great. So that's why I wanna, wanted to check it out. And it's just like for your carpets this feels like it would really work even like blankets clothes i'm not excuse me coffee i'm not really wearing something that would need something like this but oh okay well it got my hair off of there so yeah it's got a nice sturdy wooden handle and i'm telling you for 84 cents that's a great deal. I will get back to you. I will. I am planning a haul. I need to pull um, some things out of storage that I have hauled so that I can do the review and I can do my favorites because my favorites, there's quite a few favorites. So I might be splitting it up into a couple different videos, but um, or make it into like a, a series of three even because there is really that many. I mean, I purchase things on Timu. I pick things out that I like. I mean, it just might end up that I don't like it, you know, once I see it in real life. But, you know, when I choose stuff and pick stuff, it's stuff that I'm totally going to use or because I totally love it, you know? Okay, two more items. One of them should have been in my survival haul, but... I can't, I'm not perfect. Okay, this was 71 cents. And I'm not going to take it out because I don't want to lose it. But what it is, is a protector. A, a protector for your Pandora dupe. Maybe I should take it out. I think that y'all might know what I'm talking about. But just in case you don't. Now this is so that when you open your bracelet your charms and your uh beads don't just come falling off so what i like so much about this is it has the the protectors and there's like looks like chevrons they look kind of like leaves to me but then you have this piece of chain that hangs down with the cute little extra charm on it like a little leaf And I thought that was cute. So yeah, these are, I don't know the exact word for it, but it's to protect your charms and your beads from coming off when you open your, your, your Pandora dupe bracelet. I'm trying to figure out, I keep seeing other people and I thought that saying, like if I was like, when I say Pandora dupe, 
and saying the company Pandora that uh, it was about if you are an affiliate of Timu, which I am not. And that could get you in trouble that way. But now I'm starting to realize that the way some people are wording it, that like you could get in trouble with YouTube for that. I can't find that anywhere. Um, so please give me some feedback about that. I did learn a little bit about, um, oh, what are they called? Replicas. And I think it's a really huge bummer that there's issues with that. I really do. I mean, I do understand ripoffs. But when you have a legit company that makes replicas that are in, you know, that are communication, communicating with the brand name companies, I don't see why there should be a problem there. I have been approached by a company that is well known for creating replicas of everything, everything. And, they're, you know, and it's a very high end. And there are things that I would have loved to have been able to get from there, you know, but seeing and hearing stories from other people and hearing about people, okay, boo, people losing their YouTube channels over it. So I'm not sure like what the guidelines are for that. Okay. Last item. These were $1.16 and I had to get them. I've been meaning to get them, but they sell out so fast. And if you watch um, Hauling It With Me Ma, she hauls these quite a bit. And they're actually the first time I ever saw them was on her channel. And if you have not checked out Hauling It With Me Ma, Tammy is an amazing human. She is, she is a friend of mine and she is just a great human being. Boo! Sorry about that. And, uh check her out she's another you know amazing woman that is real that you know did you know there just ain't no how do i want to put this she's just awesome that's all i can say she's awesome and i i i adore her and uh yeah she go check her out she's she's really cool but these little towels and for a dollar sixteen, and let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. You get fourteen towels, and they don't have anything on them. You just—that's uh, why I wanted them for uh, to put in separate bags. Because when you're out getting dirty in the forest, I mean, there ain't nothing better than a nice, cool, fresh, clean towel. You know, on your face. You know, on your, you know, maybe. You know, get yourself cleaned up a little bit if you don't have access to showers. You don't want to use something that's dirty. So I thought these were pretty awesome for that. And at $1.16, $1.16. But I do like how um, Tammy from Hauling It With Nima, she liked to put them in her, in her bathroom. You know, so you have individually wrapped towels for your company. That is also a great idea. And I'm sure you all can come up with super awesome ideas for these also. Okay, everybody. Just one second. Okay, everybody, just in time. Lonnie's just got home from work and it's time to say goodbye. Now, I did say that we would have a uh, trivia contest. And today I am looking for lucky number so if you can to be the first and you know i would really really appreciate it you don't have to be but i would appreciate it if you were subscribed to be able to win this this uh this prize box because it is my appreciation for my subscribers because i love all of you but please be subscribed be the first person to comment what item what hauled item 10 was i feel like i just botched that whole thing up the trivia question is what was number 10 what was the 10th item in this haul i'm so excited to be doing that again i wish i could do it in every haul but like i said it just got to be too much uh in shipping and that kind of thing um 
I love you all. I am so, so grateful that you all hanging out with me. I look forward to the future of this channel and our tribe. So thank you very, very much. I am so sorry Bodhi is going crazy. And please, please be kind humans.